your end, Mr. Gilly. You're dragging. My end must be heavier than, than your end. You are going too fast, Mr. Tremble. Butterfingers. He's, he's pretty heavy for, for such a skinny bird. He probably has all his gold sewed up inside of him. All right. One, two, three. Whip! There. Well, how nice to see you here, Mr. Black. <laughs> You're not going to embalm him tonight. We haven't embalmed anybody in six years. Why should we start now? <laughs> I just thought... Well, don't. You don't do it very well. Me for bed. And me for getting the horses to bed. <laughs> Honestly, if it, if it weren't for poor Amarillo, something. I don't think. Did you speak? Now, what in the name of heaven is wrong with you? Well, what about him? I don't. I don't think he's quite dead enough yet to bury you him. You don't think he's quite dead enough yet to bury him? <laughs> what place is this? You. Not me! <laughs> Mr. Trumbull, this man. What am I doing here? Well, you're here because you're dead, Mr. Black. The hell I am! Oh, yes, you are. Everybody else knows you're dead, Mr. Black, except apparently you. What jiggery-pokery is this? Not jiggery-pokery, Mr. Black. Hinchley and Trumbull, funeral parlor. 